All right, well, we're back in Connecticut. It is the 14th, I believe. I'm not I'm not very good at dates. It's actually the 15th. It's Saturday. <clears throat> Came home a day early from sick of hunting just because I didn't want to hunt on a Saturday. Duck season had opened, kind of thought about it. We did have a miss in Eastern Shore. I missed one close, rushed the shot. Uh, this morning, I actually pulled out my bow, made sure that it wasn't the bow, that it was me in it. 100% was. Uh, last night, driving home, talking with Madman, uh, he said, why don't you come down and hunt with me tomorrow? We'll get on in a piece of woods that's just loaded down with some deer. We'll double set. I'll film. You shoot. And uh, hopefully shoot a doe or maybe a nice little buck. He had a couple of those on camera. So I'm driving the 45 minutes down to his place. We're going to double set up and hopefully get something here in Connecticut, kind of get the I gotta get the, the 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 dust off the old bow, and killer's gotta kill. And uh, it's been a it's been a tough season. It's definitely been a grind for me. I you know I, a lot of lows. You know I went to bear camp for two weeks, and that was tough. Didn't shoot a bear there. Went sick of hunting. Was in them every single day. I mean it was just absolutely incredible. There was sick of all around us. Um, just there it's they're tough to shoot. You know, you see them, but you don't get a shot or, you know, then I think that's why I rushed that shot. But anyways, getting back to it, I'm headed down here. We're going to go meet up with Mardik. We're going to go in there. We're going to kill something. I know it. it's it's that kind of day. It's 61 degrees. We had a little bit of a cold front. This week's going to snap right out of it. It's going to be even colder. The rut is going to start. That pre-rut is going to start to kick off. I'm going to take off here on Friday, head down to Ohio. Um, but we'll see what we can do in the next couple of days, get ready for the season. And, you know, it's still early. There's a lot of time in this game, and anything can change. And one deer can change this whole entire season. So you guys all know how this is. Let's get on here. We'll be showing up at Marduk soon, and uh, we're going to go kill some deer. All right, so we met up with Marduk. We're gonna go in on a piece of his private, dude. Tell us a little bit about it. All right, so this is a piece of private. It's right on the edge of public. Um, today's opening day of pheasant season, so there's a lot of commotion up there. You know, guys running their dogs, shooting birds. Um, this is kind of like a thick edge of thick uh, cedar bedding. So it usually loads up with deer. There's always, there's always a ton of does up here. So I hunted here this morning. I saw one little spike buck. Um, when I got down, I moved the stand over about 100 yards set it up for tonight so sticks are in stand set the only thing we're going to do is we're going to add two more sticks and a platform and i'm going to hang out in the saddle chev's going to be below me in the stand and uh we're ready to rock and roll what's up guys i hope that you all take a lesson from this or you guys enjoyed the video and the lesson that we're trying to show is that everybody can miss no matter how much 
you hunt, how much you shoot. These things all do happen. It's not what we want, but they do happen. I would rather a miss without an injury or a marginal shot. I would rather just a straight, clean miss. And that's what happened. Rush the shot, 22 yards. It happens. It's part of the game. I don't know if I pulled or whatever. Came home, shot the bow, right on money. And it is what it is. We just keep on driving on. We don't let things like this bother us. We don't let it get under our skin. We just keep on moving, correct with it, and keep on going. So I hope everyone enjoyed it. Short blood trails to all of you. If you guys like what you guys are seeing here on the Outdoor Drive, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, maybe come over to iTunes, give a podcast a listen. But we can't thank you guys enough. And for everyone else, thanks for taking the ride right here on the Outdoor Drive.